Today's sunshine note is titled, The Gestapo Came Knocking. Despite their fear of the peoples around them, they built the altar on its foundation and sacrificed burnt offerings on it to the Lord, both the morning and evening sacrifices. Ezra 3.3 The lights burned brightly over the small desk in the German Gestapo officer's office. He'd been interrogating various members of the Dutch resistance all day, but the elderly father of the Ten Boom family he knew personally. He had been surprised when his officers brought the family in as suspected harbors of Jews. Not because he didn't think they were members of the resistance, but because they had been caught. They had been watched for several years, but had always been meticulous and detailed in their preparations for police raids. Now as he looked at the tired watchmaker, he shook his head. I'd like to send you home, old fellow, the interrogator said with a soft voice. I'll take your word that you won't cause any more trouble. If I go home today, the weary response came, tomorrow I will open my door again to any man who knocks. The steely gaze that met the officers was not that of a broken man, but that of a man whose mind had been made up long before this sleepless night. People aren't brave just on the spur of the moment. They're brave because of convictions made ahead of time. The Jews returning from exile had had 70 years to build up lost convictions, and when they began the process of rebuilding the temple, people in surrounding countries didn't like what they saw. Uprisings seemed virtually assured, but the Jews refused to back down and went right on rebuilding. First, they built the main altar in the courtyard of what had been Solomon's temple. They located the descendants of the former priest and outfitted them in clothing and robes brought in for the ceremony. More threats came until all the returning Jews gathered in the ruined city for fear of violent outbreaks. Instead of debating about whether or not they should cave in to local pressure, they finished the new altar and for the first time in 70 years, worshipped and performed the ceremonies as God had commanded Moses. Their bravery and strength came out of 70 long years of knowing that they had turned their backs on God and they were determined to make things right. Prepare now for those times that may come in your life that call for bravery. Don't put it off. And don't assume you'll make the right choices. Conviction and bravery are cultivated in the peaceful times, and they're harvested when things get tough. May God bless you today.